The proper name for confession is the sacrament of penance, but I'm going to stick to the word confession because it's much more familiar. And these are the classic questions that people are always asking me. They say, why do I have to confess my sins to a priest? Why can't I go directly to God? Or sometimes, will God really forgive me my sins, even after everything I've done? And here are my quick answers. God loves you passionately. He longs to forgive you and help you make a new start. Of course you can go directly to him. You can pray to him any time. He's always listening. And when we pray in the name of Jesus, he always comes to meet us. But one of the most important ways that he comes to meet us, in fact, is through the sacrament of confession. Jesus said to his apostles, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. And the Catholic priest continues this ministry of forgiveness today, acting in the name of Jesus and of the whole church. The first and most fundamental sacrament of forgiveness is actually baptism. And then the Eucharist brings us God's forgiveness for our minor faults. But the sacrament of confession renews the grace of baptism in such a powerful way. And if we have committed any serious sins, then we need to go to confession in order to be reconciled with God and with the church. Confession is not a barrier that comes between us and God. It's actually a gateway that allows us to meet Jesus heart to heart, face to face, through the ministry of the priest. We are touched by God's mercy in a very personal and direct way. In this sacrament, we are forgiven and set free. We are reconciled with God and with his church. We can make a new start. And we know that the priest will never ever betray our sins to anyone for any reason. This is called the seal of confession. Confession also brings healing from all the damaging effects of sin. God can begin to put things right and mend what was broken, things you never thought could be fixed. And confession can bring such peace, consolation, joy, and spiritual strength as we go out to live our Christian faith. A few years ago, I read an online testimony by a young woman who had been to a Catholic festival in Walsingham. This is what she said. I experienced something so wonderful this weekend. I hadn't been to confession for years because of fear of what the priest and Jesus would think of me, but I decided to go. I remembered the words of Jesus who said, I came not to call the virtuous, but sinners. He was saying to me, I don't expect you to be perfect. I felt Jesus speak to my heart and say, I love you and I forgive you. Go in peace. And she went on. When I came out, I felt like the world had been lifted off my shoulders. If there is anyone who has not yet been to confession, I really urge you to go and allow God to speak to your heart. Give him the chance to stretch out his hand and touch you. I was afraid, but I'm not anymore. So just to be practical, let me tell you the advice that I give to the Catholic students I work with. If you haven't been to confession for a while, just come. It's not complicated. Pray for God's help. Spend a few minutes thinking about your life and examining your conscience. Find out when confession is taking place at your local Catholic church and then go. Don't be anxious. The priest will help you if you get stuck. Tell him when you last went to confession 
Then tell him your sins. And then, when you get to the end, tell him you've finished. The priest will give you a penance to fulfill later on. This is often a simple prayer as a sign of putting things right and wanting to make a new start. He will ask you to say a prayer of sorrow called an act of contrition. If you don't know one, he will help you. And then he will give you God's forgiveness by saying the words of absolution and making the sign of the cross. That's it. Just make sure that you are being honest with God and with the priest and don't hide any serious sins. God will do the rest. Sometimes we feel amazing after confession. Sometimes we feel just the same, but we know with certainty that God has forgiven us. So many things can hold us back. We worry that God won't forgive us or that the priest will be shocked by what we say. We're embarrassed or ashamed. Sometimes we're not sure if we really want to change. But don't be afraid. It might take a bit of courage, but no one ever regrets going to confession once they've gone. Deep down, we are all looking for peace, but often we are looking for it in the wrong place. The only way we can find peace ultimately is through Jesus Christ. And one of the most powerful ways that we meet him is in the sacrament of confession. All we need to do is to trust him and to take that step. For us it's difficult, um, it takes time, it's a process, but yes of course it's possible. It has to be, God, God's forgiven us. I hope so. <laughs> I've done bad things and uh, people have told me that they've forgiven me and I really hope that it's true that they have. Yes, but it's not easy. I think it is possible and it should be possible as well, but I think it's a lot easier said than done. Yes, I think forgiveness is possible. When I forgive someone, um, I think sometimes it's a constant decision um, to forgive the person. Yes, um, it is possible and I witness it with some of the people around me. Um, I've seen um, certain situations where um, you would not think that this person could forgive that other person in such an extreme situation. And, and I've witnessed that um, that has happened. So yeah, it is possible. I think forgiveness is about not being tied to a past incident and allowing newness to come into a relationship. I grew up here in St Albans. We moved here because my dad was working at the local hospital. So hospitals and healthcare were part of everyday conversation in our family. And if you read the Gospels, you notice how much time Jesus gave to those who were sick. There was a woman with a fever, a leper, a blind man, a paralyzed man a woman with a wound that hadn't stopped bleeding for 12 years. These were ordinary people who needed his healing and his care. It's the same today. Sometimes people are healed of their sicknesses. It can happen in unexpected and even miraculous ways as an answer to prayer. More often, it comes about through our healthcare services and through the dedication of those who work within them. 
modern medicine brings about its own miracles. But sometimes people have to carry the burden of sickness and there is no cure. Jesus suffers with those who suffer, but he also wants to relieve their suffering through the kindness and compassion of those around them, family and friends, neighbors and carers, doctors, nurses, and other healthcare professionals. Christians have an extra incentive to care for the sick because Jesus teaches that if we care for the sick, we are caring for him. And if we neglect the sick, we are neglecting him. It's no coincidence that the oldest hospital in London, St. Bartholomew's, was founded 900 years ago by a Catholic monk after he made a vow to Christ. The healthcare tradition that many of us take for granted today has Christian foundations. One of the sacraments is called the anointing of the sick. In his New Testament letter, St. James writes, is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And today, a Catholic priest will anoint those who are very sick or close to death using olive oil that has been specially blessed by a bishop. This sacrament brings forgiveness. It helps the person to stay close to Jesus. It brings them consolation and peace. And it helps them offer up their sufferings to God for the good of others. And it can bring physical and mental healing to the sick person if it is God's will. If someone is close to death, it helps them to prepare for a happy death at peace with the Lord. And through the ministry of the priest, it allows those who are sick to receive the support of the church and to know that they are not alone or forgotten. Sickness is a terrible burden, but with the help of Christ, it is possible to bear. Those who are sick need our love and our personal help. They also need the spiritual help offered by the church. That's why the sacrament of the sick is such a gift. There are many other ways that we need healing as well. There can be, for example, painful memories or psychological wounds. There can be difficult relationships or tensions within a marriage or a family. We can struggle with jealousy, resentment, misunderstanding or anger, with bad habits or addictions, with unfulfilled dreams or frustrated ambitions, with an unwillingness to forgive. We can sometimes feel that life is without purpose or hope. Human life can be so beautiful, but there are many burdens as well. Jesus wants to bring help and healing to all these different situations. It doesn't mean he takes away all our problems like a magician, but he steps into our life. He gives us reassurance and hope, and he begins to put things right. And with time, he can transform a situation in ways we couldn't even imagine. We just need to ask him for his help and to give him permission. Prayer is so important. Sometimes it happens very quickly, almost miraculously. Something changes, something completely unexpected. Or sometimes it takes a lot of patience and trust on our part. But whatever the circumstances, whatever the difficulty, we must never doubt his ability to bring healing and hope. I once heard John Pridmore tell his story. He grew up in the East End of London. When he was 10, his parents separated and his world was turned upside down. He became very bitter and angry. He was in and out of prison. He got into drink, drugs, violence and crime. On the outside, his life was full of bravado, but on the inside, he was living in moral and spiritual darkness. 
The turning point came when he nearly killed a man in a fight in a West End nightclub. He was so frightened by the person he had become that he cried out to God in prayer. This is how he described that moment. As I said that prayer, the emptiness within my heart was filled with the love of God. I could not believe God could love someone like me with all the terrible things I had done, but he showed me that he loved me and accepted me. Throughout my life, I had felt useless. It didn't matter if I lived or died, but God showed me that it did matter because he loved me and created me. Soon after, John went to confession and found a peace and a healing that he had never known before. Jesus offers the same peace and healing to each one of us, even if our stories are not as dramatic as John's. I think family support is the strongest, the strongest help. It obviously needs uh, physical support and medical support, but at the same time, they will need emotional support and spiritual support uh, because humans are not just one thing. They are, we are a collection of many different things and they are all important. I think they need, like, well, I mean, aside from the physical needs, I think they kind of need a sense of connectedness with other people. Right, so you know, if you if 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 they don't or they don't necessarily have loved ones, you can come in and kind of like create create some kind of like human presence that they can that they can connect to, hang out with, spend time with. They need to know that they are loved, which can be shown physically, it can be shown emotionally, it can be shown spiritually, and that's the importance of a community. I think we probably that's what we all do. That if someone is needs help, you turn up and you offer to help and you go. And I know that when I'm, you know, when people die as well, I always go around and say, just hold their hand. Because I think, I know having myself lost my husband, my first husband, um, you, what you need is just the presence of someone to hold your hand. When someone is sick, I think they need medical support. And if you can, always pray for them. I was reading about the life of Sister Claire Crockett. She was a religious sister who was killed in an earthquake when she was working in Ecuador. She was only 33 years old. As a teenager in Ireland, she'd wanted to be a film star. She was living a very secular life without any faith or moral boundaries. Everything changed when she walked into a church with some friends. She had an intense experience of God's love for her. She couldn't stop weeping. And when one of the sisters came over to see if she was okay, Claire said, Jesus died for me. He loves me. Why hasn't anyone ever told me this before? That's the interesting and the really hard question. Why hasn't anyone told me this before? As Christians, we are given the most amazing gift, our faith in Jesus Christ and our knowledge of his love for us and for all people. But for most of the time, we keep it to ourselves. Many people have never heard this message. Imagine there is a terrible famine and a huge crate of emergency food is dropped into your garden by parachute. But instead of sharing it with your neighbors who are dying of hunger, you hide it in your basement. Or imagine you are shipwrecked on a desert island with hundreds of other passengers. One night, after months of waiting, a boat comes to save you. 
But instead of waking the others and sharing the news with them, you get into the boat and sail off alone. We can be like this with our Christian faith, keeping it for ourselves, hiding it, as if the church is a club that has no relevance to those outside. Now, we need to have a huge respect for people from other faiths or none, and to take their convictions really seriously. But it doesn't stop us as Christians wanting to share what we believe is important and true, not just for ourselves, but for all people. Pope Francis says that every Christian is called to be a missionary disciple. We are sent out on a mission to share our faith with others. Another word for this is evangelization, which literally means to share good news. Now, you might be thinking, this is all a bit extreme. Maybe it's just for the priests and the sisters and the RE teachers. But in fact, it's for everyone. So here are three reasons why, I think, you can't be a Christian without sharing your faith. First, joy. If you receive great news, you want to share it with people. It's natural. So if the Christian message is true, how could you not want to share it with others? Second, love. If you really care for someone, you want to help them. And one of the greatest gifts you could give them is your faith. Not to impose anything, but to share what is truly important. It's an act of love. And third, to put it bluntly, obedience. This is simply what Jesus asks us. He tells us not to hide our light under a bucket. He tells us to make disciples of all nations, teaching and baptizing as we go. This is not an optional extra. It's a fundamental part of being a Christian. Sometimes we witness to others just by our example. We don't always need words. We just live our Christian faith. We go to church on Sunday. We say our prayers. We try to love those around us. It doesn't feel very special, but it touches people, even if we don't notice. Never underestimate the power of a Christian example. Sometimes we do need to talk about our faith. Maybe there is a discussion about religion or morality, or someone asks us what we believe. So we just have an honest conversation. Or maybe an issue comes up and our conscience tells us that we need to explain what we believe or to take a stand. It's not about winning an argument, but witnessing to our faith and speaking from the heart. And sometimes we might be a bit more proactive and look for opportunities to share our faith. We might start a religious conversation or invite friends to our church or tell someone that we are praying for them. We might share something on social media or speak about what our faith means to us personally. It's not always easy. Not everyone is interested, and sometimes it's better to stay silent. We can meet some prejudice about Christianity and even some discrimination. It takes great wisdom to know when to speak and what to say. Above all, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. And in fact, one of the most important prayers we can make is just to say, Holy Spirit, help me. And we are never alone. When Jesus sent his disciples out on mission, he also made them a promise. He said, remember, I am with you always until the end of time. If we pray for those around us and pray for opportunities to share our faith, then these opportunities will come, often in beautiful and surprising ways. It's not to judge others or to think that we are superior, it's just to share the joy of our faith. I'm only standing here as a Christian today because of the witness of other people. My mum was constantly praying for me throughout my slightly messy teenage years. Then a school friend invited me to go to church with her. Then a priest taught me about the Christian faith. 
Then a religious sister taught me how to pray. I don't know where I would be without their example and their faith. I hope that I can be a witness to others just as they were to me. And I pray that you could be one too. So at work, um, and sometimes randomly on the streets, um, and people are very open to having those conversations. Um, they're seeking. I think I struggle when people do not agree with what I think or what I believe. Um, the other would be people with, with the same faith and agreeing on stuff with me, which I find is easier. Sharing my faith with other people is, I, I, I love it and uh, I, I often want to share my faith, but I also want to hear what people believe and where they're at and what their desires are and what's going on. I'm fortunate to be a lecturer at a university and I teach philosophy of religion, so I do have the opportunity to talk about religion in that context. Of course, it's couched in the language of philosophy, but in my own way, I think I managed to witness to what I believe through those lectures that I give. I would define myself um, Catholic before being Italian, so that is definitely something that defines me. So it's inevitable for me to talk about religion or apply religion somehow in anything that I do or I say. And it's interesting that whenever you meet people that are not particularly religious and um, they are fascinated by your, the, your different outlook in life that you have, and that depends you know, on all sorts of aspects of life. And that they will always come back with more answers and more questions to you after you know, days, weeks, years. But uh, they're, they're intrigued, they're interested, and they love to come back with more answers, more questions rather. It can be tricky. I think you have to be sensitive to people where they're at and not try to impose your, your views or your understanding. Um, but it's also exciting, it's wonderful. I love talking about God. On the whole, my experience is pretty positive. Um, I'm an RE teacher, I talk about religion a lot with people, uh, particularly young people, and people are interested, they're open, uh, they want to know more. I think people are hungry for it.
we will now say the rosary. And for those who are joining us online today, we'll be reciting the Luminous Mysteries, the Mysteries of Light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now say one Our Father, three Hail Marys, and a glory be for an increase in the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first mystery of light, Jesus is baptized in the Jordan. Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee, and was baptized in the Jordan by John. A voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son, on you my favour rests. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The second mystery of night, Christ's self-manifestation at the wedding feast at Cana. Jesus performed the first of his signs at Cana in Galilee. He revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The third mystery of light, the proclamation of the kingdom and the call to conversion. Jesus appeared in Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The kingdom of God is at hand. Reform your lives and believe in the gospel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fourth mystery of light, the transfiguration. Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain. He was transfigured before their eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fifth mystery of light, the institution of the Eucharist. During the meal, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. Take this and eat it. This is my body. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. 
Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We now say one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory Be, for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, St. Joseph, Welcome to the National Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady of Walsingham, England's Nazareth. You're most welcome to this Mass today. And we also welcome those who are watching uh, via the internet and also listening via radio. When I cried to the Lord, he heard my voice. He rescued me from those who attack me. Entrust your cares to the Lord and he will support you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, See, today I set before you life and prosperity, death and disaster. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I enjoin on you today, if you love the Lord your God and follow his ways, if you keep his commandments, his laws, his customs, you will live and increase and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you are entering to make your own. 
But if your heart strays, if you refuse to listen, if you let yourself be drawn into worshipping other gods and serving them, I tell you today, you will most certainly perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today. I set before you life or death, blessing or curse. Choose life then, so that you and your descendants may live in the love of the Lord your God, obeying his voice, clinging to him. For in this your life consists, and on this depends your long stay in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he would give them. This is the word of the Lord. The response is, happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord and who ponders his law day and night. Happy is the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves shall never fade and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. King of eternal glory, praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. A pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise and honour to you. Praise and honour to you. King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to the Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. Then to all he said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself, and take up his cross every day, and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. What gain, then, is it for a man to have won the whole world, and to have lost or ruined his very self. The Gospel of the Lord. Good to see you here at Mass today on this Thursday after Ash Wednesday. You can see that the, there are very particular prayers that we have for the Mass and also the readings are prescribed as well all part of the beautiful riches that we find in the church's liturgical calendar. And today there seems to be a theme of choices, choosing between right and wrong. How do you and I make the right decision uh, in life? That phrase often used, discernment. How do I know what God is saying in the situation and how do I know how to respond best to what God is telling me to do? in this situation, praying, listening to God. And then the other theme is of suffering. This is necessary as is sacrifice and self-denial in the life 
of the Christian. As we heard in that first reading, see today I set before you life and prosperity, death and disaster, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I enjoin on you today, if you love the Lord your God and follow his ways, if you keep his commandments, his laws, his customs, you will live and increase, and the Lord God will bless you in the land which you are meant entering to make your own. There's that wonderful line just a little bit after that which says, choose life then so that you and your descendants may live in the love of the Lord your God. Choose life then. Let us today also choose life, namely, let us choose God afresh this day. And we have that reassurance in the psalm again, happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. God has promises for those who follow his ways and his teachings. The gospel talks about suffering and taking up our cross. And this phrase, the Son of Man must suffer, this is the first of several predictions that Jesus makes about his passion in St. Luke's Gospel. Jesus here clarifies that his mission is not earthly or political, but one that entails suffering and death. And then that much used phrase that we've all heard before, take up his cross or take up your cross, following the Lord can be costly. Being a disciple of the Lord will involve sacrifice and self-denial. That's why perseverance is so necessary to follow Christ on a daily basis. The Lord spells it out so clearly. If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For everyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. And the catechism of the Catholic Church puts this so beautifully, particularly about this idea of conversion, which is part of Lent, being converted back to God, drawing closer to God. It says, conversion is accomplished in daily life by gestures of reconciliation, concern for the poor, the exercise and defense of justice and rights by the admission of faults to one's brethren, fraternal correction, revision of life, examination of conscience, spiritual direction, acceptance of suffering, endurance for the sake of righteousness, and it finishes by saying, taking up one's cross each day and following Jesus is the surest way of penance. Of course, this is not meant to make us gloomy. It's the, quite the opposite. It's the Lord wants to bring us his joy, but sometimes we have to go through these periods of suffering to attain that joy. So today, let us afresh in this second day of Lent put our trust fully in God, just like Our Lady did at the Annunciation. May we also be able to, be able to say with her, let it be done unto me according to your word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Regard with favour, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honour to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Amen. Um. 
mystery of faith, we proclaim. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, though we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion, if you're not Catholic um, or you cannot receive communion for any other reason, you're welcome to come forward for a blessing. If you cross your arms over your chest like so, I'll happily give you a blessing. If you require a low-gluten host, those will be distributed from the tabernacle uh, over here. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me.
Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, almighty God, that there may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you uh, once again for coming to the Shrine today. Just a reminder of our afternoon programme, from 2 o'clock uh, we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament here in this chapel, and at 3 o'clock we have the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, followed by Rosary, and concluding with Benediction. You're welcome to come to that. Uh, otherwise, wishing you a very fruitful pilgrimage here and safe home as well. Don't forget to visit the Slipper Chapel, where the original image of Our Lady of Walsingham is uh, in there, and to make your petitions before, before there. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radex, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux est orta, Gaudia Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnet Speciosa, Vale o Valde Decora, Et pro nobis Christum exora. Our Lady of Walsingham, Amen. Saint Joseph.
as part of the year of prayer and preparation for the Jubilee year of 2025, we'll now say the Jubilee prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when, with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen.
divine mercy chaplet. You expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. A fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. A blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. A blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in, in you. A blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Pray now the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The Mysteries of Light. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Pray for the Pope, the Church, and for peace in our world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us from, from the fires, fires of hell. Lead all, Lead all souls, souls to heaven, to heaven. especially those, those in most, in most need, need of thy mercy. The first mystery of light, Christ's baptism in the Jordan. The Spirit descended like a dove on him, and a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, and with you I am well pleased. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. save us from the fires of hell, fires of hell. lead all, all souls, souls to heaven, to heaven especially, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The second mystery of light, Christ's self-revelation at the marriage of Cana. Jesus changed water into wine, the first of his signs, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires, fires of hell, of hell. Lead all and all souls, souls to, heaven, to heaven, especially those who have most need, need of thy mercy. The third mystery of light, Christ's proclamation of the kingdom of God with his call to conversion. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my, oh, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins, sins. save, save us, us from the fires of hell, of hell. Lead, all lead all souls to heaven, to heaven especially, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fourth mystery of light, Christ's transfiguration. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us, us from, from the fires of hell. Of hell. Lead, Lead all, all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Fifth mystery of light, Christ's institution of the Eucharist. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our, our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, lead, lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially, especially those, those who have most of need of thy mercy. Fifth mystery of light, Christ's institution of the Eucharist. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. save us from the fires, the fires of hell, of hell. lead all, all souls, souls to heaven, especially, especially those, those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping and valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panum de cello prestitit siais. Oremus. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabini passionis tui, memoriam rila quisti, trebimus quesibus, ita nos coprisit sanguinis tui sacri misterium in alari. Ut remsiones tui fructum, en nobis judita sensiamus, qui vives et renias in secula seculorum.
Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Prayer for England. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England thy dowry, and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee, 
by thee it was that Jesus, our Saviour and our hope, was given unto the world, and he has given thee to us, that we might hope still more. Plead for us, thy children, whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross, O sorrowful mother. Intercede for our separated brethren, that with us in the one true fold, they may be united to the chief shepherd, the vicar of thy son. Pray for us all, dear mother, that by faith fruitful in good works, we may all deserve to see and praise God, together with thee in our heavenly home. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Rad ex salve porta, ex qua mundo lux est orta, Gaudia Virgo Gloriosa, Super omnet speciosa, vale o valde decora, et pro nobis Christum exora.